guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Uh, my name's Amy and it's good to see you. Um, today's video is a DIY um, Halloween wreath where most of the bits come from Poundland. A few bits I already had um, and I think one bit's from like hobby craft or something but it's quick it's simple it's very very easy to do um so i thought i'd show you how i did it so first of all i've got this wreath i don't know if you see that form um i didn't get this one from poundland this is i think from hobby craft and it's about a pound uh, one pound fifty maybe so i'm going to start with that and then i'm going to take this um halloween tinsel that's got little um, pumpkins on, it's all purple and black. This is from Poundland. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to start, oh, I'm going to tie it on to one end, like that. And then all I'm going to do, is I'm going to wind it round and round. Then once you get all the way round, just going to tie that on to the end there and tuck it in. Okay, so there we have the start of, or the bases of our wreath. Pop that there. And then I've also got some lights from Poundland. Going to just pop these round. Yeah, so there's lots of different lights that um, in Poundland do now. Uh, there's sort of thin ones, or there's like these, or little pumpkins they do as well. What I'm going to do is see if I can just wrap that round there to hold the um, battery pack in place. Then I'm just going to wrap these round, the same as I did the tinsel, um, trying to make sure that the actual lights actually come round the front, because we don't want them on the back. And that one is going to hang off the bottom. So we're just going to go all the way round, hopefully so that they're evenly spaced. Then I'm just going to tuck that one under the bit that I went round and round. Oh, but he can even, he can hang down. So there we have them. This one's just annoying because it isn't quite round, but maybe when it's hanging, it will come forward a bit. Okay, so that is our, all our lights on. Should we turn it on, see what it's like? There we go. And then we're just going to add a few other um, decorations on. So I also got from Poundland these sequin spiders. Um, and they've just got these little ties on the back. So we're going to undo them. And then you can just... I'm going to try and put them near the light so that they light up. Ah, what's happening so what we're going to do is, I'm going to say so they've put the ties where they were in the packet. So I'm going to leave them on so that we can actually tie them onto the wreath. And all I'm going to do is find a little gap and thread the wire bit through. And twist on the back and bend it down. So then you just have the little spiders there. And 
And then I've also got these bats as well, which I've had for ages. So um, I'm going to see if I can somehow tie them on as well, because I think they'll look kind of cool. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to work around popping the spiders and the bats on. And I'll show you what it's like when it's done. And then lastly, I've got this um, broken doll bowl, bowl, bow, that has a little clip on the back, like this. So I'm gonna take that off. Um, so it's designed to go in the hair, but I'm gonna use it just to go at the bottom of my wreath. So here's my wreath finished. Um, I did have to have a play about with it and move it about a bit, and I've moved the, um, the battery box down here because it hangs up better um, but that's it all finished we've got the little spiders we've got the lights uh, the bats so that's all going to be hung up and I'll show you it hung up mm -hmm. 